हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 5.6 फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 5 ऑफ द हीट इंजन साइकिल एंड फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडी स्टॉप एंड मिकॉन्की द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज अ फोर सिलेंडर पेट्रोल इंजन हैज अ स्विफ्ट वॉल्यूम ऑफ 2000 cubic centimeter and the clearance volume in each cylinder is 60 cubic centimeter calculate the air standard cycle efficiency if the introduction conditions are 1 bar and 24 degree centigrade and the maximum cycle temperature is 1400 degree centigrade calculate the mean effective pressure based on the air standard cycle so first of all uh, we will write the given information in the statement we have given the total swept volume for four cylinders and that is swept volume of four cylinder is 2000 cubic centimeter clearance volume for each cylinder is that is represented by suppose VC and it is 60 cubic centimeter also this is the PV diagram and it is a typical ideal auto cycle for which we will calculate the air standard cycle efficiency these are the intake conditions at state 1 1 to 2 is compression 2 to 3 is heat addition 3 to 4 is expansion and 4 to 1 is heat rejection so if this 1 to 2 and 3 to 4 processes are isentropic processes one is isentropic compression and 3 to 4 is isentropic expansion while from 2 to 3 and 4 to 1 these processes are isochoric or constant volume processes one is heat addition and second is heat rejection so at the inlet we have given some conditions that is P1 is 1 bar and if we convert this into Pascal it will become 1 into 10 to the power 5 Pascal. Also temperature T1 is 24 degree centigrade and converting it to Kelvin it will become 297 kelvin also the maximum cycle temperature is 1400 degree centigrade so this t3 is the maximum temperature in the cycle and it is t3 is equal to 1400 degree centigrade so in kelvin it will become 1673 kelvin we are required to find two things in this problem first is we have to find the air standard cycle efficiency and second we have to find the mean effective pressure that is P with subscript M so now coming to the solution of this problem for calculating the value of cycle efficiency or air, stein, air standard cycle efficiency for that we will use the expression eta is equal to 1 minus 1 over compression ratio power gamma minus 1 this expression will be used so 
before using this expression we will first find the compression ratio using the expression compression ratio is equal to v1 by v2 where v1 is swift volume plus clearance volume while v2 is clearance volume so we can write this expression like this v1 over vc where this v1 is the summation of swept volume plus clearance volume and this v2 is the clearance volume so we have given the swept volume for all four cylinders so per cylinder swept volume will be calculated first for this swift volume for one cylinder will be equal to 2000 over 4 because we have four cylinders in this engine so it will become 500 cubic centimeter also we have swift volume for each cylinder that is 60 cubic centimeter so the total volume that is basically v1 it will be equal to 500 cubic centimeter plus 60 so it will be equal to 560 cubic centimeter so now we can easily find the value of compression ratio that is r with scupship v so total volume is 560 and the clearance volume is 60 so the value of compression ratio comes out 9.333 now it's very easy to find the value of efficiency using this simple formula 1 minus 1 over compression ratio power gamma minus 1 where gamma is 1.4 for air so using the value of gamma is 1.4 now using that expression it, I am directly putting the values it will become 1 minus 1 over 9.333 power 1.4 minus 1 so simplifying this the value of cycle efficiency comes out 0.591 or in percentage the value of air standard cycle efficiency comes out 59.1 percent so this is the solution of part one now second we have to find the value of mean effective pressure for that we will need work done per cycle and the volume displaced so for that we will need from the definition of mean effective pressure that is pm is equal to work done per cycle divided by volume displaced So we will use this expression first work done will be fine that we can also say the network of cycle so it can be w net also volume displaced in this case is v1 minus v2 let's suppose this is expression a now we are interested to find first the network for that first we will use the expression t2 by t1 is equal to v1 by v2 this is basically the compression ratio power gamma minus 1 
using this expression to find the value of t2 so t2 is equal to t1 compression ratio power gamma minus 1 so putting the values t2 is equal to t1 is basically 297 kilowatt and the value of compression ratio is calculated that is 9.333 power gamma minus 1 so it is 0 0.4 1.4 minus 1 it will become 0 0.4 so when we solve this t2 comes out 725.7 kilo one now we are able to find the value of heat supplied so for that using the expression cv into t3 minus t2 because from 2 to 3 that is the heat addition process so this is the heat supplied basically so the value of cv in this case is given in the start of the problem that is 0 0.718 kilojoule per kilogram per kilo one and the value of t3 is 1673 kilo one t2 is calculated that is 725.7 kilo one so simplifying this Q is is equal to six eight zero point two kilojoule per kilogram. Now it's easy to find the value of work done per cycle or network output. So network output will be equal to heat supplied into cycle efficiency because from the definition of cycle efficiency we know that it is equal to network over heat supplied this is basically the output and this is the input so rearranging this expression we get this so now putting the value of qs which is 680.2 kilojoule per kilogram and the value of cycle efficiency is 0 0.591 so network output comes out 402 kilojoule per kilogram now we have also to find the value of v1 and v2 so to find the value of v1 we will use the perfect gas equation or characteristic equation of state for perfect gas that is p1 v1 is equal to r t1 so to find the value of v1 v1 will be equal to r T1 divided by P1. For air, we have the value of R that is 287. So it is 287 joule per kilogram per kilo one. So 287 into T1 is 297. And the value of P1 is 1 bar. Converting it to Pascal, we will multiply it in this for 5. So here the value of V1 is equal to, when we simplify this, we get 0 0.852 cubic meter. Now to find the value of V2 for that using the concept of compression ratio is equal to V1 by V2. So rearranging this V2 will be equal to V1 by compression ratio. So V1 is 0 0.852 cubic meter divided by 
the value of compression ratio is basically 9.333 so simplifying this v2 comes out 0 0.091 cubic meter so now we found the values of v1 v2 and also the work done per cycle which is 402 kilojoule per kilogram now using expression a to find the value of mean effective pressure so substituting all the values in expression a we can write that mean effective pressure is equal to network of the cycle is 402 kilojoule per kilogram so kilojoule will be converted to joule divided by v1 is 0 0.852 and v2 is 0 0.091 and to calculate the value of mean effective pressure in bar we will divide it by 10 raised to power 5 so its value comes out mean effective pressure is equal to 5.28 bar so this is the required value of mean effective pressure and it is the overall solution of problem 5.6Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos. Also subscribe my channel to get new videos.